Hey guys, GP Mushrooms. Uh, I just seen a question while I was shooting that last video on uh, how to store your mushrooms. Now, a long time ago, I remember, you know, I had the same problem. I didn't know, you know, just like everybody else. I mean, you got to learn somehow, right? But I watched a video on YouTube and the chef was like, you know, just put your mushrooms in a paper bag and put it in the fridge. And, you know, honestly, it doesn't work very well. Uh, it either dries out your mushrooms or it, like speeds up the you know the where wants to remyceliate you know uh, I don't know what to call that but you know the it'll the sort of want to break down and remyceliate next thing you know you got white stuff growing all over your bag so you know after you've been growing mushrooms for so many years you know I've been doing this for well over 15 years uh, you know you're starting to deal with pounds I mean like I used to do 50 pounds to 100 pounds a week you know selling to restaurants doing farmers markets and storage is always a big problem for us mushroom growers. So what you're going to do is use plastic. Uh, when I'm doing like pounds and pounds of mushrooms, you know, 50 pounds a week or whatever, I would use uh, Walmart bags, big old plastic bags. And uh, sorry, my lights seems to be flickering for some reason. One more, one more thing on the list of things to do, right? But anyways, uh, I would just use Walmart bags. And I would load them up and I would just tie them off, uh, like. With this, I don't have that many mushrooms, you know, it's just my pink. But, you know, you got to remember, these guys are still alive, so they still need to breathe. So, what I'm going to do is just pinch the middle, uh, maybe, with one hand. I know I can do it. Well, anyways, I'm going to pinch the middle, and that's it. There we go. And that's going to leave the sides kind of cracked open. Not, you know, not tremendously, but these mushrooms still have to breathe, you know, they're still alive. And also, remember with the pinks, you know, uh, they're more prone to go bad faster uh, pinks are always a difficult grow uh, when you put it in your fridge which yeah you're gonna put it in your refrigerator of course uh, you might get a week you know out of it maybe a week and a half uh, with the plastic bag you know system for the mushrooms it seems to hold up pretty good but with your blues and your princess pearl you'll probably get two weeks you know using the plastic bag you know I found mystery bags back in the day you know, I'm thinking I'm grabbing all my, my, my products, you know, going to send it off to a restaurant. Then I'd find a mystery bag in the back, you know, like, oh, there it is. You know, it's been sent back there for like three weeks, you know, and yet it was still pretty good. You know, you can tell when the mushrooms are going bad is when they start sliming out. When they start to slime out, clearly they're bad. You know, mushrooms do have a, a, a smell, you know, like pinks, you know, they have a umami smell. You know, I guess that's the, the term we're using for the pinks these days. And, uh, you know, and, and between me and you, I love my pinks and my soups and my sauces. It just really puts a nice flavor to it. Make some ramen noodles. Slice up some pinks. Of course, cut the stems really thin, especially on the pinks. The pink stem is really tough. Cut it, dice it really small, throw it in your soup. Delicious. It definitely changes the, the flavor profile. But anyways, yep, just put it in a bag, make sure it still has some air, air holes, and put it in your refrigerator, and that will keep for a good, good long while. Alright you guys, mush on.